What's up guys, Michael back with a new tutorial here. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to quickly set up profiles and how to uh, use your profiles on board the mouse itself. So this tutorial is for the SteelSeries Sensei, so for the other guys who have other SteelSeries mice, this is only for the Sensei, but core concepts are similar. So here I have two presets already. I have uh, profile 2 and 3 which are set as my two custom profiles for Soldier Front. Um, I have a version 1 and a version 2. So I'll just uh, show you my settings here. So let's take a look at the settings. So uh, DPI or CPI 1 is 400. Uh, CPI 2 is 600 so I increased it by 200. Um, I like to keep it in even increments just because I feel that the mouse or my aim is a lot smoother in uh, even increments and then exact lift basically what exact lift does is um, whenever you lift the mouse um, it just detects how high you have to lift it before it'll stop tracking so I don't want it to track when I lift the mouse so I put it to around 7% I felt that was good um, if you want to go ahead and play around with that I Sometimes I like 7%, sometimes I like even up to 40%, so feel free to mess around with that. Um, I like my LCD screen to be really bright and really contrasted, just so I can see what's going on. Um, and then my, my LEDs are all the default, uh, like a little purple, pinkish kind of color. Um, and then my CPI 2 is just black. Um, I like polling rate to be at a thousand. I like there to be no delay. But actually, for my second profile, the same exact thing as this here, except my polling rate is 500 megahertz. I also changed the uh, illumination here to like a aqua color, and the exact width is 40% rather than seven. Okay, so let's get on to it. So onboard profiles here. So I have two profiles, so I'm only going to load those on two and three. Profile one is only reserved for Steel Series engine, so whatever profile was last selected in the engine is what's going to load up on profile one. Um, and I will have a recording to show you how to actually use the onboard mouse settings. Sorry about that. Um, so I, yeah, I will record the onboard settings just so you guys know how to set it without using the software. Um, but essentially, let's create a new profile here. So, oh, really fast. Rename, tutorial, enter, settings. I'll just set this one to 400. I'm gonna hit save going to save and then I'm just going to go to onboard profiles drag this over to profile 4 let it load here hmm. okay mouse profile data data uploaded successfully that's good okay now as you see um, Profile 2, 3, and 4 are set, and you're pretty much good to go. Now you can just uh, exit out of the software here, and then I'll be back uh, when I start my camera up, and then I'll show you how to set the mouse on board. See you guys then. Okay, real quick guys, I just want to show you um, how to set up or load up your onboard profiles on the Steel Series Sensei. So what you want to do is you want to hold down the CPI button for about three to five seconds. Okay, now it should load up on the back here. Um, it should give you some options for profiles. So you have options from uh, the the previous profiles that we put up on there. So I put my two custom profiles in the tutorial one. So I'm just going to hit uh, tutorial, and then I'm going to uh, hit set as current right there. So make sure you guys can see that. So set as current and then I'm just gonna click that with this middle mouse here and then as you see the uh, the LEDs changed colors and it's pretty simple um, that's pretty much it so if you want to just exit out of here you just uh, hit the CPI button two times and it just loads up the SteelSeries logo on the LCD screen 
and there you guys have it. Um, it's pretty simple. If you have any questions concerning how to load up custom profiles or, excuse me, custom onboard profiles, feel free to leave me a message, shoot me an email, or message me on Xfire or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. You just want to hold down the CPI button, find your profile, click it with the middle mouse, um, set as current, and then hit the CPI button two times, and then it'll, it'll take you back to the default uh, LCD screen. Pretty simple, so there you guys have it.